Hey there PlayStation fans, Darth Carivarus here and welcome back to another digital collection video. So I've got a few more of these ones guys, this is the second video for the digital one I've done, the first one was my PlayStation 3 digital collection, so here is my, well you can't actually see this right now, but yes this is an official PSP case, so yes this is going to be a PSP video, uh, and yeah so uh, I got this PSP about two weeks ago. Um, and yeah, it's the silver uh, PSP 3000 model, so yeah, this is my favourite one. Uh, yes, you can get the 2000, you can get the 1000, you can get the horrible E Street one, and you can also get the uh, PSP Go, which I've had the PSP Go before, but the thing is though, for me guys, the PSP Go is very, very, very small. I mean, this, this form factor is fine, but compared to, you know, other things. For me, the PSP Go is, it reminds me of like holding a GBA SP or a GBA, eh, not a GBA, a, a, a DMG Game Boy, you know. So, anyway, guys, so let's just get this one powered back on. It's actually on sleep mode. Okay, so I do have a 128 gigabyte SD card there. So, as you can see, I've got uh, just under 6 gigabyte available uh, space. So, I've got a couple more things to put on here. I want to put a couple of videos on here. You know, just a couple of movies, you know. As you can see, um, yeah, I do have a lot of games on here. I think I've got 115 games in total. Um, so we're going to go through them right now. And yes, they are in alphabetical order. If you want to know how to do that, you download a... a it's a, an application you download on your PC called... Um, PSP HB... Uh, HP Slot Tool, that's what it is, I'll, I'll leave a link in the comments down below, it just means that if you've ever had like uh, digital PSP games, they're usually all over the place, whereas in, for me, this, these are more organised, and yeah, so we have Alien vs Predator Requiem, yeah, the thing is, oh, I, love the, I love the movie guys, I mean a lot of people don't like the movies, the Alien vs Predator movies, they quite, find them quite dull and whatever else, but I do love them, I really do, the game's not that great to be honest, uh, but you know, Army of Two, the 40th day, so this is based on the same game that came out for PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, but it's just in a different style. It's more top-down style. Uh, Blaz Blue, I think this is Continuum, Continuum Shift 2. And then we've got Blaz Blue. I can't really remember what that one's called. I think that's just called something Prologue. I can't even... Blaz Blue Portable. That's what it's called. Uh, Breath of Fire 3, this is one of the early games that I had from my PSP and I loved it, I really did. Uh, Burnout Dominator, Burnout Legends, this is another one that I got. This is one of the launch games that I got when I got my PSP 1000, you know, back in the day. Uh, and I played this game to death. It was actually a friend of mine that had a PSP. He just kind of, he just one day were on the bus and he just brought it out and I thought, what the hell is that? I, I knew of the PSP at the time. Uh, he just never told me he got one, and he had, a, I think he had a football game with it, and he had Burnout Legends. When I when I played Burnout Legends, I was right into playing Burnout 3 on Xbox uh, original, and I, I thought I, I need to get one of these, and my next sort of, next point where I got money, uh, my mum, you know, my mum actually gave me the rest of the money so I could get this and a couple of games, and I was so happy. <laughs> uh, Castlevania, The Dracula Chronicles... Coded Arms 1, 1 and 2, so this is, these are first person shooters, they're actually quite good, use the face buttons to kind of look up and down, left and right, whatever else, but it's still pretty good. Uh, possibly my favourite game, which is getting a remake um, on PS5, and that's Crisis Core, um, which I need to get myself a PS5, guys, you know. I've got an Xbox Series S, which I will do a digital collection at some point, but uh, right now we're doing PSP. Uh, Dante's Inferno. So the good thing about the PSP is, and a lot of people probably don't realise it, that uh, the PSP was obviously made for console quality games on the go. Um, it's not like nowadays when you get Nintendo Switch and you get Steam Deck and you know the the Aya Neo and whatever else has console quality games. This is this is what it was back then. I mean, playing games like this, this plays exactly like it would on a PS3, just obviously it's lower graphics, lower resolution, whatever else, but it still looks and plays amazing. Uh, Darkstalkers, uh, Chronicles, The Chaos Tower, uh, Daxter, which 
There's one point one of the Daxter games, but Dax uh, Jack Daxter games, but Daxter disappears, and obviously this kind of fills in that gap. Def Jam Fight from New York: The Takeover, The City of Twelve, uh, Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai, Shin Budokai Two, and Tenkaichi Tag Team, which this is my favourite handheld Dragon Ball Z game ever because it plays like Tenkaichi. It's the exact same Tenkaichi, except you can get tag team. Obviously you get two on two, or two on one, or one on two, whatever. Uh, Dynasty Warriors and Dynasty Warriors 2. Um, Final Fantasy 3. Um, sorry guys, I didn't realise my <laughs> angles like this. Uh, Final Fantasy 4. Final Fantasy Type 0. Now this is English patched as well, so it does have Japanese dialogue, but it does have English subtitles. English menus, everything else, so that's that's amazing because I wanted to play this game for so long back in the day. I know they, they ended up bringing it out for PS4, Xbox One and PC, but obviously back then I really wanted to play it. When I played it for those, it, it doesn't play as... It plays really good, it just doesn't look as good as it would on this because it was made for this, you know. Uh, Full Auto 2, which Full Auto is one of my favourite racing games, my favourite arcade racing games on Xbox 360. Uh, I never played the second one on PS3. Uh, weirdly enough, I need to actually get a copy of that and try and play it. Uh, but it was so much fun. Uh, I played the demo to death. Uh, I still actually have the demo. Um, I played that, the demo to death, and like I said, <clears throat> it's like burnout with guns. You know, that's basically what it is. Uh, Ghost Rider, God Eater Bust, God of War Chains of Olympus, God of War uh, Ghost of Sparta, which is, to me, other than God of War 3, is possibly the best game, uh, best God of War game ever. I know a lot of people will go with God of War 2018 and they'll go with um, God of War Ragnarok when it comes out. Uh, but me personally, I love these games and plus I do have uh, these two in HD versions on my PS3 as well so I can play them upscaled, you know. Uh, oh, sorry guys, I'm out of focus. Gran Turismo. Grand Theft Auto Chinatown Wars, Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2, uh, Grow Lancer, Wayfair of... What's that called? Wayfair of Time. Uh, Guilty Gear Judgment, Guilty Gear um, Accent Core Double X, something like that. Uh, Hexes Force, Killzone Liberation, uh, that's Nights in the Nightmare, Lord, Lord of Arcana, uh, Lunar, which you know something guys, I've never ever played a Lunar game before and I always hear these YouTubers like Metal Jesus Rocks talking about Lunar, how good it is, and I agree because it's made by Game Arts, which made one of my favourite RPGs of all time, and that is Grandia 2, um, and I never knew, until I played this game, I actually played it recently when I downloaded it and I thought this game is fantastic, it plays just like Grandia, but... Um, it's in 2D. Well, it's not exactly like Grandia because Grandia, they would move around the map, but obviously that's the, that's the 3D aspect of that part, you know. Uh, Manhunt 2, and this is the uncensored version, so if you've ever, ever played a Manhunt game before, you usually get the brutal execution cutscenes. Uh, we obviously kill someone, you get the three levels of violence. Obviously, the, you know, the, the longer you hold the button, the more violent that animation will become. Um, and the first... Uh, Manhunt always it looked like a videotape, like a video recording. It has all the sort of scan lines and you know the sort of snow and whatever else on it. Whereas in this one, it's more psychedelic. It would go all kind of different colours, but in this version, it, it has been removed, which is great. Um, but it, it does flicker, but obviously that's because the animations are trying to kick in, but they're being disabled. Uh, Medieval Resurrection. Uh, I've not played this one yet. Metal Gear Acid and Metal Gear Acid 2, and I do, I, I do love Metal Gear Acid, I really do. Um, back when I got my PSP for the first time, and I played this, and I just played this game to death. I mean, it's a completely different game from the Metal Gear that you're used to, but it's still a really, really fun game, to be honest, guys. And it's really, really great to play. Um, the only thing is, though, there's no, there's no cutscenes, like there's cut, uh, no voice acting in the cutscenes, which is quite sad, because they, you know, they could fit that on no problem. I mean, the the discs, obviously, the disc size are one point eight gigs, so they could easily fit the game and that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is. Um, I mean, this is only one hundred and eighty three megs, so they get plenty of space for voice actors, you know. But oh well. Then we've got Metal Gear Asset Two, which took on a more cel shaded look. And then we've got Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, which this game is fantastic. This game is fully voice acted as well. 
and it does have sort of comic book style cutscenes as well. It's just awesome. It really is. Um, we did get a HD version of this as well. I have this on PS3 and Xbox. Metal Slug Anthology. Uh, so this is like the compilation of Metal Gear, uh, Metal Slug 1 to 6. And there's Metal Slug Double X. Midway Arcade Treasures Extended Play. So the only reason why I play this one is because it's got the arcade versions of Mortal Kombat 1, 2 and 3. Sadly, no Mortal Kombat Ultimate. Uh, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, I might say there. Then we've got um, Mortal Kombat Unchanged. This is, this is un Unchained. I said Unchanged. Uh, Unchained, uh, which this is the portable version of Mortal Kombat Deception. Which, if you played that game, I played that game to death as well. I loved it. I really... I really did love playing that game, um, especially playing chess. I have, I have absolutely no interest in chess whatsoever, but playing this game actually made me want to, not want to play chess, just want to play chess on this. Um, I do prefer Armageddon though, because Armageddon has all the characters, but in Armageddon you don't get all the kick-ass fatalities, it's like create your own fatalities, which they're quite dull, to be honest. Then we've got uh, Motorstorm Arctic Edge, uh, I've not played this one yet, just put it on here recently. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted uh, 510 I think it's called Fantasy Star Online oh sorry Fantasy Star Portable 1 and 2 um, I'm actually glad I got these because sorry guys I just turned the volume down um, I'm actually really glad that I got these because I do love Fantasy Star especially playing it on Gamecube um, the thing is though like I had on the original Xbox and I put so many arrows into it and then I got some sort of game breaking bug where I lost all my rare items, I lost all my money and I played it for like six hours straight that time and I clocked in a good couple of, probably a couple of hundred hours and that happened, I just gave up, you know but I did play it on Gamecube, especially with friends because you can play a local co-op with friends uh, I'm not really sure if this is, these are local co-op but, you know, I don't really have many friends that would be willing to play uh, PSP, so just me uh, Power Stone Collection, so if you've played Power Stone on uh, Sega Dreamcast, this is the collection of both games which are insanely, insanely fun. Uh, it's just sort of arena brawlers. Uh, Pursuit Force and Pursuit Force um, Extreme Justice. So th these games sort of remind me of um, Just Cause, where you can kind of jump from vehicle to vehicle and things like that, it's just it's crazy. Uh, Rengoku and Rengoku 2. I I think I remember playing this one like back when I got my PSP for the first time. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys, that was like, you know, was that 15, 16 years ago I got my, my PSP, so I can't really remember it. Uh, Resistance Retribution, so this is like a third person resistance game, whereas in the other resistance games are all first person. Uh, Bridge Racer, uh, you know, I'm, I am partial to some racing games, especially simulators, but not really that many, to be honest. I prefer more arcadey, which this is more arcadey. Obviously, Gran Turismo is more simulated. A uh, Sega Genesis collection, which is actually well in the UK, it's a Sega Mega Drive collection. I just downloaded this because it was there. Um, yeah, this is good to play Sonic and Outer Beast and Comic Zone and you know all your, your all-time favourite uh, Sega games. Uh, Shinobido. So if you've ever played Tenchu, this is similar to Tenchu. Silent Hill Origins. Uh, this is also a really good one. This get ported to PS2 as well. And also, so did Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This got ported to, well, not ported, this actually came out first on the Nintendo Wii. Then it came to PS2 and then it came to PSP. But this is a more runaway and hide sort of game. A SNK Arcade Collection, so I do love the SNK, SNK games like Rat Last Resort and Art of Fighting, games like that. I do love those sort of games. Then we've got the SOCOM games, so there's Tactical Strike, um, Fire Team Bravo 1, 2, and 3. Then we have Soul Calibur Broken Destiny. Now, this is the, <laughs> to my knowledge, this is the only portable version of Soul Calibur that's ever came out. And this game actually features Kratos from God of War, similar to Mortal Kombat 9 on PS3 or PS Vita. Kratos is a guest character, which is really cool. Then we've got Splinter Cell. Do you know something, guys? I'll be honest with you, I love Splinter Cell. I've played through every single one of the games. I've beaten every single one of the games, apart from Conviction. Conviction was one that I didn't like as much, but anyway, I've actually never played this game before. I always wanted a portable uh, Splinter Cell game, but I remember seeing reviews and gameplay for this, and it didn't look that great. But I've downloaded it now, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. 
Then we've got Split Second, so I love the um, Xbox 360 version of this because on the Xbox 360 version I can listen to my own music, uh, obviously from the hard drive, but the good thing is though I've got actually put a plug in on this so that I can actually play my own music as well, so I can play my own music during games, so that's epic. Then we've got Star, uh, Star Ocean, First Departure and Second Evolution. Then we've got a few Star Wars games, so there's Leaf Alliance, uh, Battlefront 2, Battlefront Elite Squadron, Battlefront Renegade Squadron, and The Force Unleashed, which I actually love playing this game on my Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's actually a really good port on Nintendo Switch. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the same game, just lower, le lower resolution, lower frame rate, you know, but it's still insanely, insanely fun. Uh, then we've got Street Fighter Alpha Max, so yeah, I do love my Street Fighter games. Um, Siphon Filter, Dark Mirror, and Logan Shadow, and possibly my favourite RPG on the uh, the PSP system itself, and that's Tales of Eternia. This is just a fantastic game, it really is. If you haven't played this game before, guys, trust me, you have to play this one. At least once in your life. Uh, then we've got Tekken 6 and Tekken Dark Resurrection. Then we've got Tenchu Shadow Assassins, which, believe me guys, this is the best Tenchu game ever made. It's just a shame that they've never brought any other ones out. There was rumours going about that uh, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice was supposed to be a Tenchu game, but then they changed it into a Souls game, you know, which I don't really have much interest in Souls games anymore. I find them very dull and very boring, you know, um, but, oh well, each to their own. Then we have Time of the Assassins, which this is actually, it's, it's quite underrated, it's not as good as it should be, um, the camera is far too close to the character and stuff like that, and there's a lot of, like, uh, obviously, fog of war, but it's still a good game. Then we have The Third Birthday, which I've never played before, I actually bought this game brand new, like, years and years and years ago, and I just never got to around to playing it, I actually bought this game, it was on, like, a, a sale at the time, and I bought a whole bunch of other games, and obviously those caught my attention. Um, and I never actually got to this game before, you know, so I ended up just, I think I sold it to a friend, or I can't remember. The King of Fighters, the Orochi Saga, so this is like, I think it's like King of Fighters in 94, 5, 6 and 7, I don't even know. It's one of those ones anyway. And then we've got The Legend of Heroes, uh, Tears of Vermilion, and the thing is though guys, uh, ever since I've been playing my PSP, I actually had this game back in the day. And this, right here, this wallpaper is the only thing I can remember. Like, I, I couldn't remember the name of the game, I couldn't remember what the sort of gameplay was like, I just, I knew how fun it was, I knew how much I loved to play the game. And the thing is, look, I just couldn't, you know, I couldn't remember, but then when I put these two on, I was I was going through the games, and I just instantly recognised this background, I thought, holy shit, this is the game that I've been looking for for so long. I'm so happy, and obviously I've got the, I don't know if this is a sequel or a prequel, I'm not really sure. But I'm so happy with this game, I really am guys, and I'm going to play this once this video finishes actually, I'm going to upload it and I'm going to have a shot of this. Then we've got uh, The Legend of Heroes, Trials in the Sky, The Warriors, so the good thing is though, the you know the PSP got quite a few Rockstar games, you've got the three Grand Theft Auto games, you've got The Warriors, and you also got Manhunt 2, I mean how cool is that to play these games on the go? And like I say, guys, these are console quality games, yes they may not look as good as the PS2 or the Xbox, but guarantee you guys, they play just as good, and they sound just as good, and they're just they're so much fun. Uh, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Predator, um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas, Unchained Blades, Untold Legends, so this is like the pretty much the only sort of Diablo-style game on the PSP, if, if I'm aware, uh, but this one is still really fun. And one of the prettiest games on the whole entire console is Valkyrie Profile Lenith. I love this game so much. The soundtrack, the graphics, everything is just beautiful. Uh, then we have Warhammer uh, 40k Squad Command. I've actually never played this one before, guys, but I'm a big fan of the Warhammer games, so I'm looking forward to this. Then we have Warriors Orochi, Warriors Orochi 2, Wild Arms XF. Uh, Smackdown v Raw 2010, Smackdown v Raw 2011. And the thing is, though, guys, like the PSP got a lot of really good wrestling games, and then like, obviously these are the portable versions. These games look beautiful and they sound beautiful on, on this system. And then we got the the first proper portable next generation uh, wrestling game, which came out on 
Nintendo Switch, and that was WWE 2K18, which played like absolute garbage, you know. Anyway, so then we have Yeast uh, 1 and 2 Chronicles, uh, Yeast 7, Yeast uh, the Ark of Napis, I don't even know how to say that, <laughs> I don't want to butcher it. Uh, then we've got uh, Yeast, um, I don't even know what the hell that one's called. Uh, the Oath of Fingana, Fingana, something like that anyway. Uh, then we've got a few you know, emulator apps as well, so Neo Geo, CPS1, uh, Pico Drive, Mega Drive, uh, SNES, SNES 9X, um, Game Boy Advance, and uh, CPS2. So, that's it guys, I know this is quite a lengthy video, especially compared to my, um, what do you call it, my uh, PS3 um, digital collection, so it's a lot lengthier than that, but um, I had a lot more to talk about in this one, um, but I do love my PSP. I do have actually two PSPs. Um, I actually have another one in here, um, which here's my Steam Deck, which I'll I'll get to that soon enough. Um, I do have a <laughs> a PSP as well. <laughs> uh, sorry, PS Vita. Uh, this is one that my friend actually reshelled. Uh, the one I got wasn't in the best condition, whereas in this one is in like perfect condition. So my friend actually reshelled it, and here it is. So it's the I don't know how I don't know what this is called. It's a spirited green version. I don't even know, uh, but it's really good. I mean, the thing is, all like, um, I'm going to actually get him to swap the buttons around for me because these buttons are super stiff. Um, so these aren't the official buttons that came with my other one, but this is still a beautiful color. But the thing is, though, I do love this color, but I do love the the platinum silver version. You know, it's just so nice. And I do have a, an extra spare 128 gig card uh, to go into this one, but I, do, I have to wait on the adapter coming, so obviously I can have two PSPs. But anyway guys, that's it for the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Check out my last digital collection video, which was my PS3 digital collection. So I have well over 100 games on that bad boy, um, which you, know, you can actually see it just right there. That's my PSP. That's my Wii U, original Xbox, Series S. That thing right there is my portable dock from my Nintendo Switch. So yeah, I do have lots of gaming stuff and I will do more digital collections in the next coming days, coming weeks. Just stay tuned to my channel. So if you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to smash the like button, throw me a double horns. Also subscribe to my channel for more epic digital collections like this and sayonara.